I'm often asked questions about the ITIL Practitioner Certification and so I want to answer some of those questions for you now and also to help you prepare for your ITIL Practitioner class and exam. Firstly, why do you want to take the ITIL Practitioner course? What benefits will it give you? I've got a lot of previous ITIL students, well actually a lot of ITIL experts, who have studied ITIL theory in depth. But then they find the application of that theory to be a challenge in their business as usual environment. And sometimes the toughest question to answer is simply the question of where to start. In ITIL we recognise that to implement any framework or process or activity is an improvement to the current environment. We're seeking to be better aligned to the needs of the organisation. ITIL Practitioner gives us the tools to not only identify a starting point for improvement, but also to overcome the obstacles that we face on the way to better business alignment. We start with understanding fully the concept of value and what value means to our organisation and their stakeholders. We then look more in depth at improvement of our value delivery, utilising continual service improvement guiding principles to prioritise, categorise and plan for the iterative and incremental improvements that we want to make. Then we analyse the importance of relevant metrics, not only a value definition but also to provide tangible, visible and iterative improvements. I think so, well that's just not a good enough answer to the question of have you actually improved? Factors that we often overlook when it comes to making changes and improvements to our environment are those usually found when undertaking organisational change management. In order to realise success in our improvement initiatives, we have to recognise that obstacles exist and that there will be an element of resistance no matter how small. Success can only be achieved when these are overcome. In ITIL Practitioner, we not only acknowledge that these exist, we actively seek out these obstacles and sources of resistance and examine ways to approach and eliminate them both. The ITIL Practitioner course is not a traditional class made up of lectures followed by testing. No, in the actual class itself, time is divided evenly on a 50-50 split of lectures and real-world exercises where we put into play the techniques that we're learning. And I mentioned an exam, or a test if you prefer, and yeah, there is an exam with the course, so let's spend a little bit of time talking about it. Well, the first thing that you'll notice is that you'll be given a case study during your course for use with the class exercises. This is important because this case study is going to be used in your exam too. So get to know it and make the most of the class exercises as they will help you to dissect the case study in preparation for your exam. This is important. If you want to prepare for your class in advance, you can obtain a copy of that case study by signing onto the Axelos website and then downloading it from there. The link's available at the bottom of this screen now. You'll also be given this. That's the purple official ITIL practitioner book. You're going to be using this extensively throughout your course, but unlike any other ITIL exam, you can actually use this book in your exam. Yeah, that's right. This is the only open book ITIL exam. So here you've got important tip number two. Don't forget your ITIL practitioner book for your exam. You won't be able to use your course notes, just this book. So make sure you have it with you. This book's going to be so important to you. Not only does it include all of the material covered during your class, but it also has a comprehensive toolkit. For the first time in ITIL history, we have a complete toolkit of templates that you can use in your organisation. These include templates for CSI register, training needs analysis, KPI checklists, among many, many others. The exam itself consists of 40 multiple choice questions. Unlike the ITIL Intermediate exams, these aren't complex multiple choice, but simple multiple choice. There's only one correct answer for each question. The questions are grouped together in bundles of six, and each group relates to a specific topic covered during the class. Each group of questions also has additional information to supplement the case study. You'll need to refer to this information as well as your case study to be able to answer your questions. 
You get two hours and 15 minutes to complete your exam. And like all exams, I'll tell you to read each question fully and don't skim read through it. Don't read between the lines because there is nothing written there and don't make assumptions. Above all, relax. And remember that the purpose of implementing ITIL is to improve alignment with the business. So always look for answers that deliver on business value. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this information useful and you're looking for further information on this topic, then please contact me via LinkedIn or on joe.peacock at outlook.com and I'll be happy to help.